Hello and everybody, welcome to another cam uh, stream here at Zero Camp, if I can get my brain straight today. Uh, so we forgot to advertise today, so, so thank you for everyone who's watching. Um, but tonight we have an army of the Western Reaches player uh, and Admiral Boomhaller. At this point, most of our local players have been on stream, so I'm glad to say both these players have been on before. Uh, so on the left, we have uh, Parker, who is playing... Primus Jalam tonight with his army of the rest of reaches. And on the right side, we have Rob, who is playing Brine Bloods uh, with Admiral Boomhaller. So just before I turn our mics on for our players, I want to say a big thank you to Enchanted Grounds here in Littleton, Colorado, for giving us a place to play as well as to stream, uh, helping spread the love of War Machine. We're busy tonight. We will probably have six games going, including this one here in the store, which is our capacity currently for 4x4 four four tables for War Machine. So that being said, both our players already rolled off. Uh, Rob won the roll off and decided to go first, uh, but I will let them... Sorry, he decided to go second. I'm being corrected already. Sounds like I should turn on their mics and let them do some explaining as to what's going on. So, gentlemen, your mics are on. Uh, if you wouldn't mind just talking through your armies, uh, Go ahead and take her away, Parker. Or actually, I'm sorry. Let's talk through terrain first. That's always very important. You always want to talk about terrain with your opponent as, uh, as well. They are playing the Recon Mark IV mission from the 2024 Steamroller Packet. Um, OK, so terrain, uh, we've got on this side um, quicksand, a wall, rubble, tall grass, um, the whirlwind, the minus three range cloud. Dust double. Another wall, an obstruction, water, little four mini obstructions, two trees. Uh, we're playing um, Recon Mark IV. Uh, so we've got um, two, uh, two uh, flags, two caches, and two 30 mil objectives. Um, just to show everyone, so from this, uh, this will become my. Um, That'll become my terrain. Yeah, my, uh, mine's this forest. Yeah, you could move it up if you wanted. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and right. then, um, do you want to talk through your army? All right, um, sure. Uh, I'm playing Halam. Um, uh, do, you, do you want me to explain everything he does? Uh, just You don't need to. Just go ahead and talk through uh, what you brought on the table today. And okay. then your command cards as well, please. Yep. Um, yeah, go for it. Um, my army list is Halam himself. I have a Malakarn, a Gladiator, or my heavies, and then an Archidon. That's right. And then for lights, I have a Kraya, a Brute, and a um, Raider. Uh, as far as solos go, I have two Mortar Third Wall Breakers. I have um, Adeptus Marquette, and that's it for solos. And then for units, I have a unit of Paingivers. I have the Legends of Halak. I have a unit of Cataphac Incendiari, and then I have a unit of Ferox. Uh, right. That's my list. And what command cards did you bring? Oh, my command cards are Hit and Run, Power Swell, Breakthrough, Blessings of the Gods, and Duck and Cover. Excellent. And Sarantis, thank you very much for the sub. We really appreciate that. Okay, from my side, I'm running uh, Admiral Boomhowler uh, for her spells. Uh, for this one, I took Fortify, Fury Strength, and Rough Seas. Um, for my command cards, I have Blessing of the Gods, Careful Reconnaissance, High Alert, Power Swell, and Savagery. Um, on my Deepborns, uh, Deepborn 1 is uh, rocking uh, the Cantankerous Head, the Minnow Fin, an Anchor, and a Shark Scale Gauntlet. Deepborn 2 is the Cantankerous Head, Spearback, Hammerhead, and Shark Scale Gauntlet. 3, Deep Dweller, uh, Spearback, Hammerhead, Gauntlet. And last one is Bellower, uh, Minnow, uh, Hammerhead, and Crabnet. 
Um, I then also have a booty boss, because you've got to have a booty boss. Uh, I have storm jaw. Here's my storm jaw. Should have, oh, here's my storm jaw for another solo. Uh, then I've got Moriarty, uh, a pig dirge. And then I have three Marauder crew. Uh, two of them come with cast tappers. One of them comes with the uh, bosun. And then I have a pig boarding. Oh, actually, I have this wrong. I have a pig boarding party. A pig boarding party. Uh, and then a pig galley crew. Got to get the pig boarding party out, not the. And while he's doing that, uh, Serantis, thank you for joining us this evening. We are glad you oh. got a game in. We're always excited to hear about that. But... My music. Uh, but uh, glad that you're tuning in as well. We always like folks watching. Glad you're getting a chance to absorb some more content. Thank you. Uh, just to fill some of the time here because Rob is already cheating. No, I caught myself before <laughs> cheating. <laughs> um, and so I have been uh, flipping, flip-flopping a bunch over the last uh, couple of months since LVO. Uh, I've been... Uh, LVO was less than a month ago. The last month then, uh, <laughs> I've done a bunch of Storm Legion. Uh, I've done a couple of um, Brine Bloods. Um, I just recently figured out my painting scheme for Brine Bloods, and so now I am motivated uh, to play some, some Brine Bloods. Excellent. And uh, what, uh, what cards did you bring on your spell rack, and what were your command cards today? I covered that already. I missed it. You missed it. I'm good at this. So Andrew so doesn't get to know. I'm so glad that I'm the one who's uh, running the and scoreboard then I over do here today. Have to, we do have to fix your, uh, your cache. Your, your, your cache needs to come up 20 inches. Up two inches? Tw yeah, go up two more inches. Yeah. Uh, for longtime viewers, you'll probably notice that we're at a, <laughs> it's a more familiar but rarely seen version of our stream. Uh, the computer we typically use for the stream is unavailable at the moment, so we're figuring that out. Um, we are hoping that we do have a... That we've solved our Wi-Fi problems. Twenty today, up. Though. Oh, yeah, twenty yours up. Yours is twenty up. Yeah, mine's eighteen. And then twenty-three in. Twenty-three in. Uh, yeah, it should be library. You're yeah, twenty-three from that direction. Twenty and then. as we're getting ready to roll here. Oh, just picked up all the stuff I was using to mark my deployment. Oh no. It happens. So, while he's deploying, I'm gonna step outside for just a sec. Gonna get quiet again as we mute just one of the microphones. Quieter, I guess, is probably the correct word here. Uh, just as a heads up for everyone who is watching this now and is going to be watching it later, uh, we are planning on doing a new interview episode with our Colorado War Machine folks that went out to Las Vegas Open or LVO. Uh, we will be doing that here uh, hopefully within the next month. We just have to <laughs> schedule a whole bunch of folks, uh, and that is like herding cats. But we will replace the unfortunate video that exists with a much better one. So... That being said, please feel free to, in the comments of YouTube videos, or uh, you can find us on Discord. Uh, Too Stupid, I believe, is what I have my name on, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, you can message me directly. We will start collecting questions to ask our LVO participants when we get a chance. Uh, that being said, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, unmute our player that's now back as well. Uh, he had... Uh, talked pretty in depth about why, despite winning the roll off, he wanted to go second, uh, and I'm going to let him do so. So take it away, Rob. Yeah, so so it's a, a little bit interesting, but when I look at Holam's feet, I know I know Holam is going to pop feet, and and I'm going to have a turn that I basically do nothing, and so I want to try and control that to be um, top of two. So I want to put pressure on him so that top of two he pops feet. 
and then I can react, dispute some objectives, get out of the kind of out of the way, um, and then um, play the game from turn three there on. <laughs> there you go. So we'll see now that he knows my devious plan if he reacts to it and refuses to pop on top of two. I, I think popping on top of two is like the best thing I can do in most situations. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, so I think pop, making him pop on top of two is significantly better than him popping bottom of two. Because bottom of two means he's scoring and I get a whole, my turn three is worthless. I want, I want my bottom of two to be worthless. Or, yeah. That's my thought. And it's important. All right. All right. Uh, before we get too far, you understand how the feed interacts with the Archidon, right? The, the Archidon has long reach, which doubles its control. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you're fine. Well, just before we get into it, just gets to be wherever it wants on the table. Well, but it, his feet says while within his control range. Yes. That means that the feet still applies even if it's more than 12 inches away. At 24 inches away, that Archidon gets to be more or less where it wants to be on the table. Yes. It's, it's, it's so sexy. <laughs> then Rob is getting deployed as well with the giant stacks of dudes. There's nothing wrong with giant stacks of dudes. Okay, your cats no. are sturdy, right? Yes, steady. Not sturdy, they're steady. Steady. Yes, you cannot knock the cats down. No, it's not. Cats always land on their feet. I was going to say. Technically, they're reptiles, though. And absolutely, Sir Antes. We're, we're glad we can get that. Hopefully, we'll uh, get a chance to do more talking about strategy here in the coming months uh, as our capabilities change with the stream and hopefully allow us to expand to get more content about talking about stuff like that. We, we like we like our players talking about the things uh, that they are doing. It's just tough on a stream because we've got a time crunch. They want to play a game. We want to get a game out there, and everyone wants to get that done before we get kicked out. Are your shooty dudes steady as well? No, they are not. What's the range on that thing? Eight? It's mostly an irritant. Well, knock down on my tough dudes is a fun. <laughs> Just a lot of models to get deployed. Inside well, and of I haven't six played inches. in a while, so it's. I see someone's already looking for excuses. Right. Test All test. my stuff comes with excuses, sir. It's the nature of my life. And I'm looking, and it's a very comparable amount of models, I believe, between both the lists. It's just that Grime Bloods run medium bases for their infantry. It makes them look a lot bigger than they are. Sorry, they're they're um, they're big boned. I'll say, big bones. They're big boned. Wolf's uh, tur feet turn. Uh, or uh, I guess the counter to the turn you do feet that can take up a lot of time. You are certainly correct. A lot of your time as that clock passes back and forth. Uh, do you have advanced support? I have no idea. Huh. <laughs> I am going to ambush, sir. 
with your pig boarding party. All right. Pig boarding party. Where does that dirge go? Oh, gotta, yeah, got to have a dirge. Uh, He's already cheating you, Parker. Don't let him do it again. Come on, Rob. You're right here to represent the meta. Uh, do you have any show dirts? Uh, I'm going to pray your cast card. Oh. All right. I'm um, going to start. Halam has six fury. I don't need to do anything fancy. Uh, Halam's going to go. He's going to go ahead and cast Warpath. Um, then he's going to go ahead and cast Scavenger's Blessing onto Moloch. I found himself. Scavenger's Blessing. Uh, I'll cast the Brute's Animus for the joy of it. And I'm going to run. Uh, what's your longest range gun? I think can walk 12 inches. Um, the longest range gun is probably the pig dirge. Yeah, because it can go 10 and shoot uh, oh, four. That's 14. Okay. Um, the infantry is move uh, six to eight, or six to nine and a half, um, shooting another eight. Okay. Do you yeah. have the guy that gives you spyglass? Um, yes. She has spyglass. She has spyglass. Okay. I'll run. I'll be fine. If you kill me, bottom of one. Then we rack it and play again. Well, but it's on a stream. I mean, we, we will play it by ear on the stream side if that happens. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it doesn't. I can't foresee it happening. Uh, Malik's going to go. He's just going to spend one to run. Uh, Brute's going to run. Only go nine inches. Uh, Kreia's going to go... Uh, Kreia's going to pop its Animus and run. And then as is pretty typical, just a lot of running first turn. And then we've got Rob loudly rummaging through the world's most noisy tokens. Hey, they're new tokens. They are. <laughs> well, they are new to you. Uh, that's five. Like, yeah, I'll be fine. Later, is just gonna run. Can't touch the. Uh, Kreia's gonna run. Or not Kreia, Archidon. Yeah. Uh, these guys will run. <laughs> they do have that bag of chips effect on those those tokens that Rob is messing around with. <laughs> uh, for the sake of ease, he's going to walk forward. He's going to go ahead and give the legends tough. The, mo the mortar third is going to walk forward and give the legends tough. Legends are going to go and they're going to take off running. Uh, cats are going to, uh, no, this mortar third is just going to go. He's going to walk forward and he's going to give them tough. Hardened flesh, I believe, is the ability, what the ability is called. 
Cats are going to go. Cats are going to walk forward. Cats are going to do their placey, placey, funny thing. And they get the four-inch placement because they are silly. Uh, cats are going to repo three. That'll be fine. Um, our cat's going to run. He doesn't need to go all the way. Raider's going to run. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, I'm fine. Uh, Penguins are going to go. Penguins are going to walk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll whip off two of the crayon. Clock. All right. I'll move on. Seven on my caster. Bottom of turn. Um. Interesting. I'm going to get like one shot. What's the defense of that thing? Huh? What's the defense on your cat? Uh, 13. I actually hit it. Am I really only going to get one shot? So. Uh, six. Six, two. But do they have the pathfinder? Well, that's interesting. I can get there with like two dudes. Armor what? 17. This is gunshot, right? Yeah. 17. <coughs> God, that's a waste of my. Um, that's a mini feat, right? No, no. I actually, I'm uh, I'm popping my command card to move through the terrain, and then trying to get two shots at that guy. Rat six. <coughs> Rat seven. So you said thirteen. Thirteen, seventeen. <coughs> six is a hit. Dice minus five. Five boxes. Top setting. Yeah. That's right. The cats that will but never be on takes that cat way out. <laughs> um, and I can get maybe two shots at him. I think the big question is, can I get two shots? Hey, do you mind if I get that medium base? I've got two. I've got, I've got it here. So, or actually, yeah. Can I? Yeah, that way, I'll just be real exact. So here, what I'm trying to figure out, which is, so, six there. Move that because that doesn't matter anymore. Two. 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 And then are we within eight? I can get two shots. 
Do you concur? Any parts of that measurement that you don't like? I think you're fine. Yeah, you're good. And then there's the two, there's yeah. the two, and then there's the six. Yeah, you play clean. You play cleaner than I do. <laughs> I just didn't want to, I want to take that. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's do what we need to do to get there then. Um, so, since your dude ignores cover and you prayed me, thank you very much for that. Yeah, what's I his, just, you don't have any shield guards. Yeah, what's his max threat range? Uh, max threat range, 24 inches. So he can shoot me in my deployment zone. Awesome. So that doesn't matter. Let me, uh, let me figure that out. He's range 15. Yeah, 24 inches if I go for everything. Do you have Isla Sight as a card or ability to get it? He can give it Isla Sight. Okay. So basically, you get to shoot me wherever you want unless I throw. Uh, do you ignore line of sight in any sort of way? No. Okay. So I'm going to have to bury myself behind two heavies. Yes. Um, You're going to have to do that. And then uh, <laughs> cast Rough Seas. The rough season is going to cost me three. Hey there, Dark Because I'm not going to let you have easy shots. Nice to have you in chat with us tonight. Three, three pieces of eight. Um, I, I will remind you, my caster is rat ten against your um, against your caster. Your yeah, rough but I'm going to make you roll it. Okay. Yeah. Your rough seas means little. Not I just, I, I just pointing out that in terms of if I want you to understand before you're like, oh, rough seas will protect me. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. It's, okay. it's just making you... Nothing yeah. will like, protect you. Just before we get that far and you're like, oh, ru oh it'll be all right with rough seas. Yeah. No, you won't. It's, it's not going to be great. But, but again, it, it takes it from... If you, if you don't boost, you'll miss one in there, maybe. Because yeah. it's two shots, right? He two gets shots. two shots. He has reload one. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you miss one. Probably like a 75% hit rate against defense 15. Um... So I want to do, it's really all I need. So cast Fortify for two. Well, Dark Penny is a busy, cast Fortify busy, myself. busy night. All yeah. six of our tables. I have Blessing are, of the Gods as a card. Yeah, but I make you pop it. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah. Um, I think that's the only thing I have to pop it on. Yeah. We've got 500 point cast Fortify going, myself. Including this one. And, and then going. don't cast Storm Ranger. But I don't need Storm Rager yet. Cast Rough Seas, make you pop that and stay somewhat defensive. You're 14, 17, right? 15, 15, 16. 15, 16, okay. So I go to 15, 18. And then I'll have two, two Fury on me to, to transfer if I need. Okay. Uh, so we will go ahead and activate. I will cast uh, Fortify on myself. Okay. Because that's... Horrible. Uh, and then I will cast Rough Seas for three. All right. And then she will um, run. Well, Dark Pace, also with any uh, run to there. luck, we'll get a rearranging of the story here soon. It provides us uh, more play space. Uh, doesn't impact our, our chat folks, but for our local meta, that, that could be a big deal that we hopefully get another table or two to play on. Excuse me, sir. That's a lot of uh, run to there measurement devices out on the table. <laughs> That's actually allowed, I think, in the new. I haven't looked that closely at the toy. Yeah, I think they that. removed the rules on excessive. How many minutes? Devices. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So then I will run him to there. Uh, I will pop his animus, and then oh, that's one to run him. I'll pop his animus. I believe it's two. As much grief as I'm giving Rob about that, uh, it's important for clean play uh, that one, pre measure some of no, this stuff one, before you start and then moving run models, as well. but two, okay. to also talk with your opponent about like Rob's doing here. So uh, it didn't matter as much on Parker's turn, so we're not going to give him any grief about that. Running on turn one, especially top of one, very typical. What's up? I'm just saying that we didn't need to, you, you didn't have to worry about precision measurements yet. Oh, yeah. You just, a lot of running on top of one, that's really typical. 
but I'm sure we'll see that from you as well. It's just good play etiquette to always check that with your opponent and always measure up before you move models, especially okay. as you start getting into combat. That was super fun. Um, need to move him up a smidge. Uh, huh? Dark pennies. Hopefully that's just on your end. We don't have a lot of viewers tonight to check that, but I think our internet it says it's doing pretty solid make sure he's out of that uh that's just a run there um okay so i will pop my pathfinder card marking okay. it on all right thanks for checking in folks marking it on. That. uh he will move to right there thank you for the token uh we'll put these two guys right here <coughs> Glad we haven't had any stutters. We're on the Token. crappy laptop to run the stream tonight. So it means that was an, a Wi-Fi problem that we have solved. Hooray. Uh, let's move the other dudes in. Nope, that's not the right guy. There. There. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There, there. Uh, okay, I've got two shots at your lovely person. I am a depth 13. <coughs> I am a five, up to, <laughs> up to a six for the cask, uh, depth, up to a seven for storm jaw. If, if you don't cough yourself to <coughs> over there, you, you're gonna be okay? And make it through the game? Let me just double check to make sure. He's not even responding to the peanut gallery. Tisk tisk. Yep. And then Stormjaw. Yep. So five to six to seven. Need sixes. Need sixes. Uh, that'll uh, it doesn't be, matter. That'll do you be have a crit effect? I do not have a crit Okay. Uh, armor 17. How 12? Minus five. Minus five. Uh, two points? Nope. Oh, oh reroll. Two points. Two points. Second shot. Need a six. Don't doubt me again. Hits. <laughs> and dice minus five. Oh, I got him. Make a tough check. Yes, you did. It all pays off. Sorry, all of that no. craziness no, that, they don't. that if we were playing in a tournament would have ruined my clock. Not tough. Oh, I made it. Look at me. You did spend a lot of time measuring out yeah, to yeah. kill a single In a cat. tournament, that would have been a garbage move. <laughs> yes, it would have. But we're not in a tournament. We're on stream, and I'm playing. playing for That's keeps. right. We're, we're not playing on clock. Uh, and while the stream does shut down at 9.15 Mountain Time, um, the game can continue on. Can being the operative. Just run. Um... Just gonna run to here. <clears throat> what range on that thing? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. With everything. Okay. It also has crit pitch, so you know, like I might be able to fly up and just throw one of those heavies out of the way. There's very few things in life that are better than just throwing heavies, especially when it's out of the way. And so um, your uh, fortify doesn't make it immune to throws. No, it just lands on its feet. Yeah, uh, it, well, well, if, if I throw one of the other guys. Yeah. I don't think I will do that, but it's really funny. What's its base threat without anything? Uh, it's speed seven, so 11 inches. 11 inches. Uh, Rush gets it to 13, and then if I trigger a Warpath, it gets up to 16. Okay. I'm going to make you trigger it. Um. And just again, this is measuring it out, talking with your opponent, making sure you both agree on something like that, because that looks like, what, 13 inches that you've got measured out? So, yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's a 13 inches, just outside of 13. It's his intention. Uh, 
She'll be back next week. Okay. I already listened. Yeah, no. Our our real followers have to entertain. Your real followers, huh? Uh, our real followers. We just we appreciate the folks that are watching on Twitch. We know not everyone has the time or the capabilities to do that, but we're just happy to share content out there in the universe, get some games out on cameras. All right. I should have cast Storm Ranger on my assignment. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Let's go. All right. I like being not knocked down. Fortify says you can't be knocked down as well. Yeah, no, 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 no. Storm Rager uh, is, does not give the no knockdown. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So I should I could have cast. I didn't have enough. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I was just like, maybe I should have cast Storm Rager on my caster. But all right, um, in my maintenance phase, um, my caster will collect the six fury from his warbies. Upkeeps on stuff in my battle group are for free, so I don't have to pay for either Warpath or Scavenger's Blessing. Uh, the various animi I put out will fall off. Uh, I think that's it. These tufts will fall off. Uh, now let's see if I get to be funny. Correct, Dark Phineas, which is something potentially that'll uh, make that uh, Archidon a lot of fun. Potentially. Oh. This thing is not very good. Yeah, open fists do that, but the Archidon's fast. It gets to go places. I'll have to do this. Give me a vague idea. <laughs> so if I cut it close enough, I could probably make it there. Kill two dudes. Kill two dudes. Okay, so that's funny. Just kill some random dudes. I think that's all I do. I think I'm just going to kill some dudes and set up for a scenario. Yes. Um... What are your non... You have sprays. Where do you have sprays? It's one of the heads. Are any of the heads spray heads? Yes. He's got a spray head. He has a spray head. Is that the only one with a spray head? That's the only one with a spray head. Okay. Remember uh, rough terrain within five inches of Yeah. He actually has it. Oh, no. No, he's fine. I forget. Uh, this doesn't block line of sight like a forest, right? It does not block line of sight okay, like a forest. so I can just see the dudes. You so. can just see them. All right. That's the plan. Uh, 
So just outside of 13 to him. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at him. So yeah. I have to trigger a warpath. I do not think I will have a problem doing that. Um, but I'm seeing... I only need 14. So 14 is enough to get to that guy. That's really funny. That is really funny. Yeah, we're going to do that because it's really funny. <laughs> it's not as funny as it used to be, but it's still really funny. Okay, so I think that just means Halam goes first. Yes, that does. Um, so Halam's going to go. Um, so... Do you have to keep Warpath for free, or does I have to keep Warpath for free, and I have to keep Scavenger's Blessing for free. I have the I can't a uh, resourceful. I have awesome. resourceful. Cool. So, um, so Holam's gonna go. Um, oh wait, no. Uh, I have to no. I have to do this first. Um, so this guy's gonna go. He's going to walk four inches to right here. Sounds good. And he, uh, being within three inches of the objective, that he's going to go ahead and put uh, tough on the legends. I hate the legends. Yes, you do. I'm about to make you hit them more. Nah. I, so much the regular dudes don't have sprays anymore, right? The regular? <laughs> what do you mean? The, the, the marauders. Okay. So they don't have sprays anymore. So this is hilarious. Um... The legends are gonna go because I gotta get out of the way. Okay, so this is where precision measurements come in. Well, I need to, I really need to do this because I have to make sure this will work. That's four inches. These guys are 12 13s or something? Uh, 12 13s. Five boxes. <coughs> Tough. I only need to hit them, so. Luckily, there. She'll be right here. Uh, I keep running out of tools. No, I don't think I can make it. I think if I cut it tight enough, I could, but I don't think I can. Um, so we're just going to do the funny thing instead. Uh, these guys, uh, legends are going to go. They're just going to go ahead. Um, I'm going to give them duck and cover. Uh, and they're going to run. Just to let you know, I do have the, uh, I should tell you now, I do have the one card that creates a shield guard. Okay. You, I, yeah, you haven't used I did it not, yet. I did not use it. Yeah. No, that's fine. I forgot to tell you that. No, no, it's fine. Because you asked me for shield guard cards, or shield guard. Yeah. I, I told you zero. I yeah. have a card that will get me Three, shield five, guard. five, and then seven inches. We're going to make sure all three of them are within two inches of this terrain. Yep. And then, ha uh ha. -huh. And ha uh ha. -huh. I hate those guys. I bet you do. What's that, the shooting unit over there? All right, now Holom's going to go. Uh, Holom's, now nothing's in his way. Holom's going to pop feet, because of course he is. I think I can do that first. I mean, we just talked about, for quite some time earlier, popping feet in the top of two. Yep. So. Um, so to explain Halam's feat, uh, for people who don't know, Halam's feat that says, when my models are in my control range, he rolls one less die to hit them. Um, and that's my models in my control range, so he can have stuff all the way over there. So rolls one less die. It is a very good feat. It is. Especially um, on 
a bunch of the higher defense stuff you Especially got. on the Def 16 Legends who now have cover. Exactly. Um, so that's a rush. Yeah, I'll be fine for days, even at a rough measurement. I'll be there. Um, so he's going to walk. It's right here. Uh, I'll hit the one, but I'll have to pop. So I'm going to use the Raiders Animus. I'm going to take a shot. I'm going to shoot this guy right here. She is defense 12, but you will be an extra dice, sir. Yes, I will. Uh, I'm a rat 7 up to a rat 8. I need a 4. Uh, I need to spend Fury. I'll boost a hit. <clears throat> no, come on, man. Risk it. Risk it. No, I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> I think that is wise. I was going to say, I'm the one here who's bad at math. I got you. Yes. I saw um, a lot this of little dice. Power so exciting for a second there. Um, uh, yeah. Armor 13, five boxes. Yep. Minus two. I'm going to boost damage. I rolled triple once. Um, this was dice minus two, so one point of damage. One point. Um... The uh, Grievous Wounds has been triggered. Okay, so um, no tough. Got so it. no tough. Buy uh, another shot. I'm going to buy another shot. Uh, this one I'm just going to try and hard roll. That's a four. I'm a 12. I'm going to boost damage. Dice minus two. Uh, two dice on this one. Oh, that, uh, no, I boosted damage. Oh, you boosted damage. Got I didn't boost a hit, but I did boost uh, damage. Tough. No or, tough. Yeah, so no tough. Yes. Uh, I'm going to warp back. Uh, these wings are the worst. Yeah, I just got to deal with it. Is this what I make a joke about? If how everyone who's watching this stream don't. Um, we would like then to. Then I'm going to spend one to teleport. Dice with vanish. Cams I'm going to go. Four working on. So I have cover. One host computer handles it really well. Mine does not. Um, so sorry. Then. I'm going to power swell for one and um, for my second card. And I'm going to use the Brute Animus, so I'm steady. Because I don't feel like randomly getting knocked out and dying. <laughs> I think he will be safe there. I am not sure. On your feet, it's really tough to get yeah, no, I don't, even know, I, like, I don't even know if I would measure it out if I had a shot at it. I, just, I, I can't kill your caster on your feet. <laughs> Camping Zero, standing up there. I think I'm all right. It's the steady that really swings it and over. And his armor solid. No, he's a 15-15. 15 15. Uh, I mean, not. it's not randomly die to blast, yeah. but it is, it's still not. Um, okay. There are 12 13s. All right. Um, I think we're just, the Archidon's going to go. Uh, the Archidon's just going to go ahead and charge this guy. Um, let me measure this first to make sure I got it. I was having problems moving him. If not, I have to do other things first. I do not have it. Okay. Just short. Yep, so uh, this gladiator is going to go. It's just going to shimmy sham up. I think it can just be right here. Yeah. And I'm just going to put rush on him for two. Uh, and then I'm going to do it. Rain on speed 13 now. Now he goes wherever he uh, wants. So right there, I will get the plus two for the defense, for the wall. I, right. There's no way for me to avoid that. Okay, got it. Just wanted to make sure. Yep. I'm going to boost a hit. Uh, I am a defense 12 to 14, sir. Yep, I am a six. Where did I put all my... Right here. I'm just blind. Yep, I am a six. Need eight? Need an eight. That's a hit. And a crit. And a crit. A uh, crit pitch. I'm going to throw you. I'm not even going to roll it because I... I think oh. I just slam into one or two of those. I, guys. I was looking away for a second, Dark Phoenix. Thank you. I, I'm totally I am totally joking. 13 um, on the guy you pitched with the charge. Thank you so much, though. Uh, I'm pow, uh, I think, subs 15. And bits and everything. Thank you all. Everybody. Uh, four dice. Uh, super cool tonight. 
same size four dice. Yeah. So yeah. I think he just tough checks. Uh, he's knocked down from No the... knockdown. I have cast tappers. Oh, you have cast tappers. Okay. He is not, not tough. tough. Okay. And then him, it's tough. the pow of the shot. Uh, it's just a, it's, this is just a straight pow 15. So dice plus two. Dice plus two. I could roll double ones. I did not roll double ones. Tough. He is tough. Um, uh, can't she's... go anywhere. Or can he? Because they have... Um, Something drunk. Something? Uh, but it's directly away now. Yeah, so it's just... I think Oof. he just slams right into him. Okay. And I'm counting wounds. So yeah. that's wounds you've done. Okay. Yeah, no, um, Dark Phineas, no complaints. We, we never want to pressure anyone. I'm just going to go ahead and trigger though, sprint. And so thank you. And then I'm going to fly really seven inches. It. So please don't ever put yourself out for us. We, and I'm going to put myself right here. Letting folks know oh, liking or sharing you is coming. all that you're we coming. ever asked for. I, it's just like, but again, like, thank you so much. There your heavies go. <laughs> He's deaf 14. Eat something. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try and eat something. <laughs> Like, um, uh, Moloch's gonna go. Moloch's just gonna walk right here, and he's gonna be done. He still has scavenger, so he has pathfinder. Uh, Kreia's going to go. It's going to pop its animus and walk. Just get to within three inches. Okay. What else we got? Um, this wool breaker. Gonna shimmy. Then shimmy a little bit. Uh, I'll give these guys the cats tough. He has out. Two fury. Uh, cats are going to go. Oh, yeah. The cats could have definitely gotten there. I didn't need to run the legends. I always forget how dumb cats are. <laughs> They're not dumb. They're awesome. They're, well, it, but it's this fact of like, oh, look, I can't charge you and you killed the model that's in the way. Oh, this cat's going to walk right here. Jump five. No, they, they don't jump. Oh, but place five or something. It's going to place, place four, four inches. So right here, and I'm gonna get attacks on both your dudes. Oh, you. I don't know. Oh no, I'm not. Oh, I'm standing on top of him. That's my mistake. Check your. Make sure I'm still four inches. Back a little. You may not get the side. No. He's got two inch melee. Yeah. I think it would be very. I, uh, like, yeah, you look good. You look good. Okay, but it's just like. Uh, um. So I am a mat seven. Um. We'll just take the two inch melee right here. Defense twelve. Uh, need a five. Hits. This is a pow 13, so dice even. Straight dice. Yes. Do you have Grievous Wound? No. Tough. Tough. Uh, are you... No knockdown. No cast knockdown. Tapper. Yep, cast down. All right, we're going to take the bite right here. Dude up. Uh, need a five. Got it. This is also a pow 13. Tough. I hate tough. Have I, let me explain to um, everybody. And then I'm going to punch you with a shield. They have still, three still initials? Standing. Yes, they oh have three God. initials. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> what, like, the other one, if I'd walked up, I'd have gotten to, like, wipe the whole unit out. Yeah. Um, so Unless I, I roll tough like I have been. Yeah. Happens. Uh, that'll still hit. This is a pow nine. So uh, dice minus four. Four. So five to, kill, uh, five to <laughs> tough check. Okay. It's just going to tough again. Okay. Three toughs. I mean, like, See, I hate this rule because it makes me feel bad to roll three toughs in a row. Why? I mean, because it, it, like, private jet press. I have a bunch of, I have a bunch of tough models in your face as well. Yeah, I still. Like sometimes dice need to be dice. Mm. Need to have a tough oh, yeah. counter on the stream. The dice aren't weighted; they're just. Do you hyper address it? Uh, yes, I have something. Oh, um, so my monsters have the. I don't like tough. I don't. I am playing trolls. At Oh, no, 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 I have Tatory Strike. Okay, but you don't have hyper-aggressive. If I <laughs> randomly pop a shot into one of your dudes, it's not going to get mad and come closer. No. All right. Yes, tough is always going to keep those things two, in the way forever. And it's, it's always the one thing you just like, oh, this would be trivial to remove, except it has tough. I just think it's a bad play experience no, I mean, for just, both players. No, this is why I mean, Andrew will play Mortality Caster. 
gonna say, there's plenty of ways to deal with it. Um, I still have two more inches. I'll walk right here. Uh, he's gonna put his animus up. I'm gonna take a shot at this guy. I go to a rat seven. Uh, what's your defense? Soft. I have a, I have a little more speed if I'm not. Uh, if no, 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 no. I'm I'm checking which which. One oh, it which is. guy? Okay. Yeah. So he's a twelve. Um. So I need a five. I mean, I'll boost a hit. Hey, four dice. Yes. Hit a fourteen. I'll boost damage. Uh, this goes to a pal fourteen. Arm eighteen. Nice. Minus four. Oh. Huh. Uh, uh, 13 points of damage to the six. Yeah, tough, tough is uh, an interesting play I mean, mechanic like, for sure. Is this a negative play experience? No, it's, see, that one doesn't bug me. Again, it's, it's the, the idea of, I, I would say I've just lost games to someone rolling five tough rolls in a row. I did it wrong again. Yeah. Oh, well, it's fine. Uh, Marquette's going to go. Marquette's just going to take off running uh, because I did him wrong. Oh, I have Incendiary. Uh, Incendiary have a job, and they're just going to keep doing it. Incendiary are just going to walk into here. No, I don't need to walk into there. Incendiary are going to walk right here, so they won't. Stop making me laugh a little more stream. Uh, I have three, five, seven out. Yeah, okay. Um, the only thing I have left are my pain givers. My pain givers are just going to shimmy sham like this. Uh, tough to death off stream. Uh, and sorry, I'm going to whip off uh, two I'm off the gladiator with another and one over off the crap. We've been laughing about it. Um, long story short. That's me. Your mileage may vary. Your mileage yes. may vary oh, with tough. Oops. Both as the person who's here. rolling the tough checks and the person who's getting rolled against. I moved against. the wrong guy. It's all good. Three and six. Uh, oh, this uh, this brute needs to go. The brute's going to wander up right here. I cut a warp half twice. It's fine. Do everything I wanted to. I think I did, yes. I'll do that. I got to repo these guys. That's You're fine. good. No, I don't think I need to. I think, well, he would just repo like this. And then he would repo. Aha! Okay. Uh, I'm going to come in. <clears throat> surprise, surprise, surprise. Yeah, I figured you would. Uh, and Tough's gotten a little easier to mitigate for everybody because you've got Savagery as a command card, but that's situational. You need a melee unit. It's, it's a whole thing. We do have no knockdown tough on two of Rob's units because of the uh, cast tappers. So silly. Ooh. Ooh. What you gonna do? Not quite sure. I am actually interested to see what I can do here. Underfeet, your defense 13. I'm yeah. defense 14. 14. Uh, dodge. No. So sevens to hit. So, so nothing that move. if I miss, nothing happens. If you miss, nothing happens. Okay. If I could give him dodge, I would love to do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, be, like, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Her rust feet does get 14. to some folks. Uh, 
And these guys are 16 space, right? Uh, they're 14, 15s, and they have defensive line and shield wall. So they get plus two defense while they're base to base with each other and plus two armor while they're base to base with each other. If I have chain weapon, do I ignore that? You do not ignore the defense buff. You do ignore the armor buff. Because a chain weapon specifically says it ignores shield wall, but it does not ignore defensive line. Yeah. Nah. So stupid. Uh, okay. So. Like I needed the needed one of those to come off, but that's fine. Uh, I do get to shoot you as pistol. Um, I'm a, your defense eleven. Yep, I'm now. I'm dead. a six. So you need a five. Need a five. Oh, and you're on five. Folks, sorry about that. Uh, we had an internet connectivity issue on our end. The game was still going. They were still playing. Oh, oh. I miss. Okay. Uh, it's pow six. Nothing. Uh, minus eleven. You could roll. Uh, you could roll twelve if you won't care. I did, did not. not. Okay, but you're on fire. So that was interesting. It was. He had a legit shot. Yeah. No, it, was, it, like, it looked good. You just you missed the charge, and the other attack didn't do enough damage. So do these guys have set defense? No. Not, like, come on. Defense 16, right? They're just straight 16. If they had set defense after that. So I am nines to hit. Nines to hit. Okay, um, so I'll charge uh, the double strike, the, the two sword guy. Okay, Valgash. Uh, I charge for free. Okay. Go to right there. Um, I will boost the hit Aww. with the... Uh, <laughs> Still got a nine. <laughs> uh, we're we're going to go with the axe or the, the anchor. Okay. That's an eight. It's close. It was close. <laughs> Um, and that's it. Uh, yeah, it's not even worth doing any other stuff. Okay, um, Is going to move. Two within two. Base to base. Uh, we're going to boost the hit with an attack. Okay. With the shark. Uh, defense 14? Yep. I'm a 7. You need a 7.
An armor on him? Uh, 16. Yeah, I'm just going to try and... Okay, so new 7. That's a hit? Yep. Uh, pal 17, so dice plus 1. Uh, 7. To the... To the 2. I will buy and boost. All right. Uh, this is with the hammerhead again. Miss. I don't think I'm going to kill him. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, I'm getting like one, maybe two attacks in. Yeah. That's just I, not enough. That, I mean, this was the goal. Those heavies don't get to move forward, and you have to spend a lot of resources to try and kill him. Yeah. Um, he's going to go. Yeah, Jalam's feet doing its job. Yep, Jalam's Halam, feet. Halam's feet. Halam, Halam. I'm American. You're not on top of your cache. Yeah. There you go. Um, we will boost the hit with the shark again. Okay. D7. That's a miss. I'll buy and boost. Miss. Yeah. Sauce awesome sauce. What's your control range? Uh, not that far. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think so, but. Is that a run? Yeah, it's a run. Okay. Running uh, through my caster. Yeah, you have precision, precision strike up right now. We <laughs> must will go give her stealth. I don't know what it's freaking called. Pro or gives her prowl. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, we'll make the person. We are got, sorry got about person. that. We uh, okay. I'll just be honest. On this, I hit a button and killed our internet solution for a minute there. Uh, that was an adventure. Um, So one guy is out? Uh, my intention was for everybody to be in, but it might be that one guy is out. Yeah, this guy's out. I don't even have the winner core here to do that, Serantis. I cannot replay everything that you missed. I apologize.
Um, nope, can't charge there. Uh, charge. Am I wrong there? Yeah, so right, charge there. Uh, one to charge. And then let's try and boost it with the uh, hammerhead. Okay. Right there. Eight seven. Yes. All right, sir. Um, that's what I got. I score one. Um, which one, one do you score? That one. No, the, my Archidon's right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Your Archidon's there. Never mind. Um, so I think I can kill you. Your Kester's Def 16 right now? Def 17. Def 17. Um, so I need, reliably, I need a 13 on four dice. From your caster? No. So he has a, par he has a spray eight paralyzed gun. So I, wa I, I give him Pathfinder, I Warpath him forward, I walk him up, spray this guy, catch your caster. If I catch your caster and get the dead eye shot, the dead eye spray, paralyze, your death is five. Yeah. And then my caster teleports out. I need to get rid of this model, and really, realistically, I need to get rid of these two models. Um, if I get rid of both of those models, I'm pretty sure I have a charge on your caster. With a war path from someone? Uh, he has a he has a vanish to get out here. Okay, got it. Like I'll I have a three inch vanish, so that he's right here instead, mm -hmm. and then he has a ten inch threat range. Um, you. Otherwise, I'm a mat nine, so I need sixes on you, which isn't super great, but everything I do is, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Grievous Wounds, so you run out. Uh, what's up here on your Warbeast, three? Uh, four. Four, okay, so you can transfer to any one of your Warbeasts. That's correct. And I don't need to be killing any of the Warbeasts then to give you more Fury. Um, anyways, we have to. So the thing, first thing we have to do is we have to refury. This is three. This is. Two. She does have annoying. Yeah, I like. I don't think I'm gonna go for it unless I get the paralyzed. And the paralyzed requires me to do things I'm not sure I want to do. Okay. Cool. Um, I have to make the decision. I have to think about that and decide. Um, upkeeps are for free. So like step one is um this right here. So he's gonna make a threshold check. The other thing I can call, like, death arm and boxes. Uh, defense, 13, 15, and five boxes. 13, 15, five boxes. Okay, so that's not super bad. Yeah. So, and these guys are 14, 11s or something? They are thir uh, 14, 12s. 14, 12s. And the one dude's a 13, 13 with five boxes. The little dude with the back. This gun? Okay, so. Actually, sorry, that guy. That guy, okay. So the other thing I can do is, like, my caster can come all the way over here. I can dead-eye these guys. They walk around, and I put a bunch of boosted shots, um, AOE shots. Yep. See if I can kill them. Yep. All of that. If it does, I score this. If it doesn't, mm -hmm. life sucks. Um, I think I'd have to get real lucky over here. And then, like, stuff gets really silly because, like, um... He has, I have the breakthrough card, so he flies right over here when you're paralyzed, and then it's like, I'm going to try and crit pitch you. Whoa. She got four to five, so she doesn't get knocked down, but... She doesn't get knocked down, but she, uh, like, I'll get a four dice, yeah. pop 15 into your caster before, but, um, and if not a three dice, pop 15. That'll just force a transfer. Um, anyways, threshold check on the raider, because I risked it, and I thought you'd kill that Archidon. Yeah, I didn't even come close. You did not. Um, seven. Seven. I'm good. Oh, uh, no. Oh, uh, no, wait. At threshold eight, minus one, seven. So he's all right. Okay. 
Um, so, ooh, upkeeps are for free, so I'm on Six Fury. Prayer uh, goes away, this goes away. So step one is I have to, if I want to do this, he has to rush a Kraya. Let's, I, you know, like, I'm trying to think of what I give. Uh, like, I find out early, so, yeah. Uh, let's just, let's go for it. Uh, the Vider is going to activate, and he's going to go ahead and rush the Kraya. Uh, rush. Uh, the Raider's going to go. The Raider's going to go ahead and stand still. And he's going to take a shot at this guy right here. Range 10. I am in range. I am a rat 5. I am a rat 7. I am a rat 8. Do you ignore concealment? I do not. So I'm going to boost the hit. 12, 12 14, 16. Yep. So I need an 8 to hit. Oh, I score one point. You do score one. Uh, I, did, I thought that was zero to zero. Um, I've already started my turn. It's fine. This is a... I think the assassination is far more exciting than me jamming, than me just jamming you out, not doing very much, and scoring like two more points. So you're zero and seeing what happens then. Um, so eight to hit. Uh, that will not hit. Okay. Um, he's done. Okay, so realistically that gets, no, that doesn't, no, that gets rid of the assassination. Does it? It kills one, four paths away? I need to kill both. Yeah, I need to be like on top of him. I, I'm, I'm going to do a bad thing and commit to it. He's going to go, he's just going to go ahead and, uh, no. Um, Pain givers are going to go. I'm going to whip this two fury off and I'm going to enrage him. Uh, he's going to go. Uh, he's going to charge. Uh, speed six, speed four, seven inches. Terrain doesn't apply twice. I'm going to charge this guy. Razor, everyone is winning. Within nine of him? Except for Rob. Rob might be getting assassinated. That is a good question. I think I am. Defeat's gone. If not, I can live with it. Where's... No, he's playing Brian Bloods. Uh, I think that's technically close. Right there. And then two inch. Not that Wintercore will win on stream until it does. Just out. Just out? Okay. I have a plan. Got to rush him Cunning, first. evil plan. Um, we'll see if it works. Which I don't want to do. So he's going to charge this guy instead. Okay. Results pending. Uh, he's pretty much going to... Yeah, you're totally going to... I'm actually going to do it like this. So I don't make a stupid boo-boo. And seven inches. Uh, space for days. I need to be within an inch of him. Just in case. Yeah. So he's going to charge right there. Sounds good. Um, I'll use this shield. Defense 14. I'll boost the hit. Uh, I'm a mat 6. Need an 8. Uh, that'll hit. Arm 13. Uh, this is POW, I think, 12. Might be better than that. Nope, POW 12. Nice minus 1. Yes. Not tough. 
I'm going to Warpath myself because ha ha, funny, funny. Warpath is really silly sometimes. <laughs> I dig it. I like Warpath. I'm going to Warpath over here. Sounds good. Uh, and I'm going to make my second initial right here. I should be able to get within two inches of him at that spot. Yep. I will boost ahead. Uh, defense 14, we said. Yep. I still need eights. That will hit. Uh, I'm this is a 16 on him. Uh, oh, that's the UA, isn't that's it? That's the bosun. Uh, this is pal 14. Nice minus two. Yep. The less good of a plan. Um, five damage. Okay. I got rid of the one guy I needed to get rid of. Now I just need to trigger one more warpath. That's pretty easy. <laughs> I feel like I can probably do it. I can come over here and see what happens. Yeah. Oh, you'll get one more path out of it. Yes. Because then I'm going to warp path him. So I still need to kill this guy. I don't know how yet. Um, but it might be really dumb. It might be. I have a plan. It just requires. It, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I'm committed to this. Oh, well. These things happen. Um, anyways. Uh, we're just going to start with the legends. They can't go anywhere. Um, I can't do the funny haha -ha thing over here. So uh, Valgus is just going to start. He's going to take a swing right here. Uh, defense 14. Yep, they're mad eights. I need sixes. So first swing right here, need a six. No, second swing right there, need a six. I got it. I am a POW-9 weapon master. Uh, arm 13? Yeah. Not tough. Uh, that's Warpath. Uh, does he have Pathfinder? Yes, I gave him Rush. Okay, got it. With the... Um, that's why the gladiator had to give him rush before any of this started. All right, um, he's gonna go. Oh no, I was swinging at this guy again. I was swinging oh, at this you guy. Oh, were okay. Yes, I wanted this guy because he needs to take swings next. Uh, yes. uh, he's he's gonna swing on that guy. Uh, I need sixes. Got it. This is Pow Ten Weapon Master. Not tough. All right, uh, that's another warpath. Can't do that. Oh, uh, he gets to heal D3. He heals one. Yes. Um, does he stumbling drunk? No. They do not have somebody. That, he's the bosun. So the bosun or cast tapper. Bosun doesn't. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. I thought it was Boson or the uh, the range guy. Boson, range guy, or cast tapper. Oh, oh, okay. That's very interesting. But I don't ever take the range guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, Razor, thank you for your sub. Or I'll just call you out. Thanks, Greg, for supporting the channel you help co-host. But we appreciate it nonetheless. Thanks. Hi, Greg. Can I fit a large base in there? How was Glen Con, Greg? Mm. I can. Okay. Uh, can I land somewhere? He says it was great. I can. All right. I'm going to Warpath right here. Lots of beer, and Glen Con was great. Excellent. <laughs> the dream is alive. The really janky, wonky assassination um, is so, still alive. It's a bold right. move, Kyle. Let's see if it pays off. Yeah, it, it might. Um, right here, I need a six. Oh, fire. 
Ooh. Uh, doesn't go out. Uh, minus uh, their armor 17, so minus 5. That's minus 5. Well, don't do that. Uh, two two damage. I got it. I got it. Uh, oh, I think he's only taken that damage. Yeah. I did one point to or no, I did two, didn't I? Um I don't remember. Greg played Shadow Tongue and Rage Monger all weekend. Rage is a fun one. We should uh, do an entire video about talking about okay, how that alters um, the luck and so use the spreadsheet that right you Right here, made, the swing I was making, need a six. Rolled it, Pow Ten Weapon Master. Yes. Tough check. Tough. Tough. No uh, knockdown. No knockdown. I don't think you can go anywhere. Well, the, this guy? No, this one. For those of you that are still watching in chat or are watching yeah, on YouTube, yeah. let us know well, if you'd like three, us to do a pathfinder, video right? about the map yeah, so I go an on Ragemonger's feet. No, push is, Having push seen it go in play, oh, it's a push, oh, it's it's a push a not a walk? Yeah, it's oh, okay. A oh, okay. I didn't realize that. And then she'll go, she'll swing on this guy right here. Uh, needs, a, needs a six. Got it. Uh, Power 11, Weapon Master. Uh, dice minus two is three points of damage. And then she'll walk D3. One inch, or push one inch straight back from her. Okay. Uh, let's get it out of the way. Um, he's gonna walk up right here. He's gonna give these guys tough and this also removes uh, continuous effects. So I will no longer be on fire. There it is. I have breakthrough. We'll wait, we'll wait later to see if the dream is alive. Okay, so that's them. Okay. I wonder if Moloch Karn can kill a single infantry dude. Yeah. <laughs> Is your feet steady? Uh, no. Okay. Moloch Karn's going to go. I am going to go ahead and use the um, breakthrough card so that he can walk away. Speed two. Does he have Pathfinder? He, uh, he does have Pathfinder from Scavenger's Blessing. Got it. Four. Six. Um, that means my Arcanon's no longer doing the funny, funny, haha -ha thing. Uh, I'm. We're gonna see if Mullet Kern can just rock this guy. Okay. Who who are we swinging at? We're swinging at um, the boss. I am at seven. 14. So I need a seven. I have future sight. This is gone, now gone. That's a seven. That will hit. Yep. I am a POW 14 weapon master. Uh, dice minus two. I roll better than that. Not tough. Not tough. All right. Uh, I'm going to Warpath, this guy right here. Okay, we have done like most everything. I have a second initial. I'm about to put my caster in front of you on zero camp. Well, we've got one thing left, but uh, we'll go right here. Um, I need a seven. Defense 14. Double sixes. Pop 14, um, Weapon Master. I don't, 13. You can bolo it. Uh, yeah, I could roll trip one. I did not roll twerp ones. I did not touch. Um, okay. No war pass left that I care about. All right. Marquette's going to go. One, two, three, five. He's going to go right here. He's going to put dead eye on the craft. Dead eye. The jank is here. So I need to get within eight inches of your caster on a straight line. So just I'm speed eight. I don't think I will have a problem. Is that good? Yeah, you're good. Okay. I 
I'm going to spray this guy with the um, paralyzed shot. Sounds good. Um, defense 14 for him. Defense 14. Nothing that happens if I miss him, right? Nope. Okay. Uh, I'm a rat four. So I need a 10. Um, that will hit. Yep. You're paralyzed. Sounds good. I am going to boost a hit on your caster. Defense 17, sir. Defense 17. Rat four. I need a 13. 13? Four dice, right? For dead eye? Yep. That's 11. Like yep. Yeah, that is. You are paralyzed. Sounds good. I don't know if it's going to matter. <laughs> hmm? You don't think it's going to matter? Oh, that? Yeah, okay. So I have achieved the vaguely difficult. Um, so my caster's going to go. I'm going to spend one to cast Warpath. Or not Warpath, um, Banish. Oh, I need to come back and over a little, I think. And then I have a 10-inch um, threat. I should have measured this before I committed to all of this. But I think I'm okay. So I don't think you can see her. I, I feel like on this angle, I can. Just barely. Uh, does anyone have a laser? Because I... You know what, actually, if you ed edge her over just a smidge... Because then you just need to be perpendicular on that line. Yeah. Right? So yeah. I We're think good. that's fine. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. So nine inches gets me there. Yep. Like, so just I'm going to charge your caster. Sounds good. <laughs> okay. It's a space I've got laser. Five fury. We're good. Okay. You are. Uh, I am Matt nine. You are death seven. Uh, eight. Eight? Yeah, I, get, uh, I, get, I get, but it doesn't matter. Eight. Okay, I'm going to pop blessing on my caster to ignore the fortify. Okay. Fortify doesn't give me defense. I thought I'd give you plus two armor. Armor. Yeah, yeah I'm going to pop that to ignore armor. Sounds good. I've, and I haven't used two, car like, I use breakthrough. Oh, so that's interesting. And I use blessing. Yeah. The damage grid? For her, says Thorga one. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's they made that standard after a while. So, um, okay, so I'm effective nine, so I need anything but to hit you. I hit you. Yep. Uh, this is a pal 14. Uh, dice minus two, because you have blessing. Yep. 11 points. Uh, transfer 11. To the one. All right, I am now going to shoot you. Um, I am a rat uh, 10. You ignore concealment? I ignore concealment and cover, yes. Um, uh, you're rat, uh, you're deaf eight, yeah. I hit you, this is a pal 13. Uh, dice my three. Four damage. And I have five more attacks. Yep. Uh, melee attacks. Hits, pal 14, um, three points. Got it. Uh, second, hits, uh, four points. I I guess I'm just gonna nickel and oh, dime wait, it. Oh wait, stop, you what? have grievous wounds, right? I have grievous wounds on everything, yes. So that was three attacks so far? Uh, this is my third attack. It's three attacks so far with my initial and two okay. bot. So um, I have three more, hits. Minus two, there we go. No tough. No tough. I just, the whole um, incredibly janky assassination continues. Oh, it's good, man. No, yeah, it's like, I, so the weird, I, did you think this was steady? I probably should have said something. No, no, I didn't care. I, I think you should have just had one of them boost a headbutt. And then if it knocks down the other one. I missed, yep. right? I missed the whole time. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I know, but. Um, I just, I don't know. Um, I really think you should have picked to go first. 
No, 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 I like what I'm doing. Do you? Yeah. I, yeah. Just The problem is, is I get to pop feet and just like... I always forget the Cray spray. I, I thought I, it I used thought to I not be a spray. It was, Mark III, it was a single target yeah, shot. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's that's what I always forget that it sprays now. And it's, and so if you don't get there, I'm completely. Oh, safe I would. I would like the thing I would have had to do is I think come all the way over here, shoot some random models, um, give two of these guys dead eye, walk yeah. over here and try and do boosted shots on these yeah. guys to hope the AOE clears them. So score this. Have the arc like kill this one guy with like shooting. Have the Arcanon base to base take that up, yeah. and then just be like, okay, I'm still contesting that. I'm still contesting this. Um, I have to try and stop you from scoring this. Maybe Moloch stays right here and tries to kill some dudes, and hopefully I can score this. Is where I would look for it. Yeah. Uh, I think the problem is, is after this turn, uh, life gets rough for me because you have four heavies. I'd still have Moloch, and I could get the Gladiator up there. I pick it all up. But I, I, I win yeah. after this turn. If you, it, it, you, you, if you miss the boosted thirteen, I win this game going away. Yeah. Well, I committed too much to that already. Um. um no, and, and it's boosted plus a dice, so it's probably a sixty-five, maybe yeah. seventy. Yeah. Sixty-five, maybe seventy. Yeah. Um. Uh, I had rough seas up. You should have rolled five dice, dropping the highest. Oh, yes, I should have. Um, roll it just to see what it looks like. Because then maybe that no, actually... No, if you had Rusty's up, I don't commit to it. I, I, if I'd remembered you had Rusty's up and you... Let me just see if it rolls. I forgot it. It still the, gets it. Yeah, still gets, still it, gets it. Now, that's because you rolled like a god right there. Yeah, right? that, yeah. Um, but still gets it. Um, yeah. Um, my, my other option is like I keep Moloch Karn behind here. Um, I keep the gladiator back here where I don't think you can reach him. And like Moloch is death 15 behind this wall and it can force rerolls on you. And just try and keep you from killing him and hope I can kill two heavies next turn. The other thing is, is like he can randomly just shoot two heavies and they can't heal anymore. And then like Moloch tries to commit to them because you don't have fortify on one of them, on, on, on them and just see if he can. So I probably should have storm ragered her. And fortified one of the heavies. I I think so. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that, I messed that up. But Storm Raider is just so darn expensive, and I was worried about that first turn come up. The, do, the, the, the honest thing is, is you have like if I just get to shoot you, it's great. Yeah. And I do not care about Rusty's. Uh, Halam's just like Rat Ten. It's just like whatever. Yeah. Um. But no. The Jank, uh, the Jank assassination worked. That uh, killing the cat was a big thing. That's um, nice. If you don't kill the cat, I wipe that whole unit out. Yeah. And then, like, that whole unit's gone. Legends get to come, like, over here instead. Well, you don't actually kill that whole unit because I rolled insane number of... Zombies. Oh, yeah, but even then, like I, like, I have drawn a line all the way up there instead of you getting to surround the legend. <coughs> yeah. Um... And then, like the legends are right here, and the legends are um, the legends are weird because he's got the slam, and that's where and it's like you want fortify on your caster as well because if the, the legends are like right here, and I because you're blocking with two heavies, yeah. so if I get an angle where I slam one of them across your caster and just knock your caster down, they're not moved by slams. The um, any of them are moved by slams. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fortify, fortify, block slams. Okay. It does not block the, throws. Oh, it won't block the throw. Yes. The other, the other option I had, well, is I th was I was thinking about boosting a throw right here, but I I might throw over her. So yes, but yeah. Um. Oh well, Halam has a has a win on stream. On that he does. So I would like to go ahead and thank both of our players for playing on stream. Thank you both. Uh, any final thoughts before we start wrapping things People up? People think say Halam's terrible, and I think they're terrible. <laughs> it's just like, I'll put it out there. Apparently the Colorado meta has been called weird. And I think uh, the answer to that is yes, but obviously we're doing something that works. Or at least I'd like to think so. Well, excellent. Thank you, everyone, for playing tonight. Uh, Rob and Parker, again, uh, thanks for playing on stream. Getting some janky assassination, getting some stuff going on. I would like to thank Enchanted Grounds here in Littleton, Colorado, as always, for allowing us a place to play and to stream. Uh, 
Thank you uh, for allowing us to do that. And thank you for everyone who is watching tonight on Twitch, uh, even with our technical difficulties. We'll be watching later on YouTube. We thank you so much for that. Um, please uh, feel free to give us a like, a follow, or uh, a subscribe if you're on YouTube. It means a lot to us, just that little bit of support. Uh, we'd love to see the channel grow and just get more people out there watching games, uh, consuming War Machine content, just because we love this game so much. We'd like other folks to enjoy it as well. So thank you, everybody, for everything tonight. We hope you all have a fantastic week, and we will see you in a week from now on Wednesday.